This is what part of LaGuardia Airport still looks like today. And this is what part of LaGuardia Airport looks like today. And it's all explained in this video. In my last update back in June, I took you through the fully completed far western concourse for the 60s gates. Rather than being torn down and rebuilt, these gates were simply refurbished, maintaining the structure of the 1992 Terminal C. It's now bright and airy, but to get there, passengers had to walk through a tight temporary tunnel. Well, the old tunnel is gone, and I'm going to show you the new space today. I'm heading on over to the 60s area because the new walkway is complete. This is it, and I'm so excited to enter the walkway to gates 60 to 69. This part has been around for some time now. These gates, like all the other gates, are on a lower level. On the left side is the roadway for airport traffic. If you're in a vehicle, you can see into this space. And on the right side is the ramp between the 70s gates and the 60s gates. The refurbished 60 gates are on the left side, and you can see how that concourse maintains the old original exterior look since the 1990s. That's what I featured in my last construction video, but this video is all about how to get there by descending on the escalator. That will lead to the new walkway. If you look out the window to the left, you can see part of the old tunnel. Previously, you'd have to turn left into the tunnel, then right, paralleling the now straight ahead course that we're going to take now. That's right, no turns are needed, and we're now in the bright, open, and airy new space. What a difference from the temporary tunnel with no windows. From what it seems, that temporary tunnel was the last temporary tunnel needed during construction. All of the arms and legs to the four concourses are now complete. Because this is such a big and airy space, it made the trip seem a lot shorter than the temporary tunnel. For quite some time now, I had wondered about all the work that was happening here, and I'm satisfied. Now, before we move forward, I want to show you what this space looks like from the roadway outside. Here you can see the escalator we just went down, which leads to the new walkway. In the foreground is the temporary tunnel, which is in the process of being demolished, and behind it is the walkway that we're in now. The walkway leads to the base of the 60s gates, and the exterior of this western area is being refurbished. That's Terminal B in the distance. Now, back to where we left off in the connector. As I walk west, I can't help but think what lies ahead. But before we get there, up ahead and to the right are some windows, but the view is blocked. I can't wait to see what's behind them. Hopefully a nice view of the ramp like we saw at the beginning of this zone. The last time I filmed this area at the end of the tunnel, you'd make a right towards the gates. With the exception of Starbucks, there was a temporary wall on the left, but that wall has come down. I can see Starbucks up ahead and behind it is a full food court. Wow, this space is beautiful. There's still some work being done on the right, but on the left there are many options to get food or drinks. And this space sits in the same exact position that the previous food court sat in, and it's oddly familiar. It's basically in the same shape, and although modernized, it retains a very similar format to what was just there. Even the store space on the right remains, and those skylights above the walkway, look how they cast so much sunlight on the ground, the way it's always been. Upon entering the food court, you can see how beautifully organized it is, very similar to the way it was, which was already one of the nicer spaces in Terminal C. With lots of variety, it's nice to see some of the original vendors still there. Because I love LaGuardia's past, I really like the space, and I think the variety is really nice here too. I definitely shop here before any flight, even if the gate is far away. This is the kind of space I'd shop in, even if it wasn't in an airport. It's a feel-good space for sure. Now, if you want to see the refurbished gate area that this leads to, you'll have to watch the previous LaGuardia construction video from June, where I cover it in detail. For now, we're going to head back toward all other gates from the view of an arriving passenger. There's still some work that needs to be done at the base, but once you're in the connector, this is a welcomed, welcome to New York space. I suspect that the entry will be widened, and there's still some temporary walls in the entranceway. This time, I'm going to give you a good view of the old tunnel, which won't be around for much longer. Broader views are coming soon. That's it, the remains of the last tunnel here at Terminal C. Here's some footage of the walk back. Way in the distance, we can see the escalator. The only thing this space is lacking is a moving sidewalk. Let's go ahead and take the escalator back up because there's more to see in this terminal. At the top is a nice view of the roadway, the Terminal C parking garage, and if we pan all the way to the right, there's the old tunnel down there.
Today's video sponsor is Exter, my go-to company when I'm on the go. And today I'm featuring this card holder. Its bright color makes it really stand out, but its over-the-top feature is that it glows in the dark. It saved me in my car when I dropped it and couldn't see it, but the bright color made it easy to find. I spent about five seconds looking for it. Thank goodness for glow in the dark. Another time, I thought I had lost it in a dark room, but I didn't panic as it was vivid and finding it was a breeze. Exter has wallets and even trackers compatible with Apple Find My for your iPhone. Now for the best part, are you looking for savings? Click on the link in the description below and use code Macella at checkout to unlock extra savings on top of Exter's current promotions. Don't miss out on these exclusive deals. Remember, the code is Macella, M-A-S-E-L-L-A. Now, let's pass by the 70s gates and head further east. What do we see out the window here? The old D-Terminal is gone. It's just a pile of rubbish now. Over the last few years, the D-Terminal was getting smaller and smaller as it was torn apart, and now it's gone. Let's head over to the 80s gate area for a closer look. Here's a new restaurant that just opened up at the top. Let's head on down. You can see that the gates at the base of the concourse have no seats yet, as those gates have not opened up yet. The ramp on both sides still needs to be cleared of construction debris. On the right side, we can see Gate 82's jet bridge, but they're still working on clearing the ramp of the temporary tunnel that previously provided access to the 80s gates before the grand entrance was completed. The left side still isn't functional at all with the removal of the D-terminal, but in some areas further out, surface preparation is underway for the ramps at the gates. This is so exciting. Now let's take some time to remember the old Terminal D. Here's some footage that was taken over the last couple of years. Farewell. Well, that's it for this update. I'll leave you with some teaser footage of a rare Runway 22 takeoff. That occurred the day I filmed most of the footage for this video. Look out for this video in the future. It's going to include footage from both sides of the airplane. And don't forget to check out my past videos, including this one of a flight to Lima, Peru. There will be more videos from Peru, too. Finally, don't forget that discount from Exter using code Macella in the description below. I stand by anything that Exter produces. Well, thanks everyone, and I hope to see you again. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so, so you won't miss out on what's next. Take care, everybody.